Hello everyone, hope you're all doing well. 223 Frank the Tank here. I recently picked up the Black Shark K50 module for DCS. Currently on sale right now. And uh, I wanted to do a little cold start tutorial for you guys that I learned recently from a friend. So here we go. First thing I'm going to do is when I pause this, close the door with right control C because, you know, things get pretty loud pretty quickly. So here we go. Alright, so the first thing I'm going to do is on the right hand panel, to get your battery 1 and 2 switches, click them upwards, turn in your AC system over here, and then this bottom row, flick all of these up, boom, turn on your forward and aft fuel pumps and your fuel quantity, fuel shutoffs go up, APU goes up, fire suppression goes up, and then ejection seat arm, weapon system arm, Main hydraulics on, IFM on, standby SAI on, your EEGs for the engine, turn them on, and we're going to work our way to the back, your L140, put it to operational, your INU switch, turn it on, your UV26 flare, you know, that's your uh, countermeasure system, turn that on, then here, your Ekron hydraulic transfer power, turn that down, and close the switch on it, and then we're going to work our way to the left, turn on your Abrus, and you're gonna turn on your K041 Chicaval, and then here we go, we have to start the APU to get the engine started. So we have this cyclic, uh, you know, rotary switch over here, not rotary, but it goes in a circle. Leave it to APU and hit start, and that will start your APU, which you can monitor on the left over here. There it goes, it kicks in. And when you get the green APU on light, you're clear to start the engine. But before we can start the engine, turn off the rotor brake. And then you're going to flip the switch to the left and hit start. Now monitor your RPM gauge. And when the number one needle hits 20%, you're going to turn the red uh, mixture handle to idle. Your fuel mixture idle. Boom. There it goes. Watch the engine start up. Monitor EGTs and make sure everything is nice and smooth. There it goes. Okay, now we're going to turn on the data link, so that's operational. Turn on these, which makes it a little bit easier to fly for the view. Receive for the data link. Alright, now we're going to start the number two engine. So turn out to the right, hit start, and monitor. Okay, when that hits 20%, percent i going to turn on this, idle, switch on idle. Now, something about the K50 that's different from other helicopters is that you only use connected to fly it. These thermal handles are preset to certain settings. You never touch them in the flight, you only touch a connected. So once the engine is started, I will put that into full power with uh, the page up page down to lower the throttle. Okay, both of our engines are on. The next thing we need to do is just shut off the APU because we don't need it anymore. And here we go. So using page up, you're going to put the throttle right at the barrier. Alright, so that is basically it for the startup. So you're gonna wanna give it some connective very slowly, keep it centered. Boom, easy takeoff. G G key for rudders, I mean for <laughs> for gears. This thing is just me. This thing is powerful, fast, and maneuverable, and it 
packs a deadly punch. Got my auto trimmer. Is there any visual helicopter movie? You want to be careful not to shear your blades or, or mess up like that. <laughs> like I said, I'm still learning how to fly this thing. But it's, it can be a little, a little difficult sometimes if you're reckless like I am over here. I'm buzzing this truck over here. Ooh, sorry. But yeah, it's a lot of fun. A lot of fun to fly around. Just gotta make sure you don't shear your own blades off. <clears throat> Anyways, make sure to like and subscribe and uh, comment what you'd like to see next for the K50, F18, Top Cat, or any other model. Peace.